chairing the talks on Cyprus, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said a deal to end the decades-long division of Cyprus was close, but more work needed to be done. You cannot expect miracles of immediate solutions. We are not looking for a quick fix. We are looking for a solid and sustainable solution for the Republic of Cyprus and for the communities of the Republic of Cyprus. Clear progress has been made to define the borders of a future two-state federation of Cyprus, including how it will be governed and the rights of those who lost their homes and land. 42 years ago, Turkey invaded the island after Athens had launched a coup, and the sticking point at these talks is security, guaranteeing the protection of Turkish and Greek Cypriot communities, reassuring them that these scenes will not be repeated. That may mean the end of the current system, the product of a 50-year-old treaty that allows Turkey, Greece and Britain to intervene militarily to preserve the peace. Among the positives underpinning these talks in Geneva, the first time the Greek and Turkish Cypriot leaders have been joined at the negotiating table by the three guarantor powers, represented by their foreign ministers. Perhaps another auspicious sign is the presence here of Secretary-General Antonio Guterres, making his first foray into international peacekeeping as the new UN chief. With so many disasters facing the world, he said, we badly need a symbol of hope. Mr Guterres said he believes Cyprus can be that symbol at the beginning of 2017. A deal may be close, but not necessarily imminent.